Those what-ifs that we pursue with wide-eyed hope. Look, that's 65,000 dreams there. Hmm. Everyone has dreams. Him. Her. Or even him. And most definitely, him. Music to me is like breathing, eating and sleeping. I just can't live without it. Passion and hard work brought him one of the greatest accolades in classical music. The first Asian to win first prize at the Gustav Mahler Conducting Competition. Can you imagine how it changed my life? Soon, this prodigy found himself invited to the top orchestras around the world. Waking up every week in a different city and performing the music of their culture. Not easy, but I love it. Through music, he became a cultural ambassador across the world, finally landing in Germany. Chief conductor of the Nuremberg Symphony. At only 32, he has already been invited to lead the largest outdoor classical concert in the world. Wow, it doesn't get any better than this. So, what now? As I spend more time away from Singapore, I begin to feel a growing sense of responsibility in contributing back to my home. And that's why it's very important for me to introduce the world of classical music to more children through Project Infinitude. But really? Classical music and children? Through music, I would like to inspire more listening in our children, which could lead to mutual understanding, respect, empathy. Big words, but nobody said we couldn't dream. Wow, a tiny dream with soaring ambitions. But why not go one step further? Why not bring the children to the orchestra? And I wanted to bring a gift from Singapore, the strong and powerful voices of our little children. Indeed, a little piece of Singapore right here in Nuremberg. Singing a song of possibility and touching the hearts of 65,000 people. 10,000 kilometers away. That's how far dreams can bring you. So, that's his story. What's yours?